Hi everyone, in this video we are going to talk about XML RPC and how we can use this to update some records in our Udo to access the information and update the information in within our Udo database. So XML RPC is basically a remote procedure call protocol which uses XML to encode its calls. So we can access and we can simply go on and read or write some of the data to our database so we are gonna use this for Udo to basically log in and perform some specific operations you can also find the documentation over here in this link it is available on Udo docs under external api.html so let's jump into our database uh, we have this basic Udo installed with the contacts application and we have some 37 contacts here so we are going to create some contact update it and then finally delete it using the xml rpc so let's jump in to the code editor and write a script for this all right so first thing we have to do is we have to import xml rpc dot client library this is basically the library that we are going to use to perform these specific features uh, the functions in our Udo database then we have to specify the url and this should be the exact one pointing to your Udo database my current Udo database is pointing to this specific port so i am going to use this then we have the db and which in our case will be Udo 18 username and password so next thing that we are going to do is we are going to authenticate using this specific credentials so we have to log in first so for that we are going to use xmlrpc dot client server proxy so what we are going to do here is we are simply going to use this command and what it does this creates a remote proxy object to call methods exposed by Udo's xml rpc slash two slash common endpoint this endpoint is used for authentication and basic system level operations uh, like let's say logging in and getting the version of this uh, of your Udo. and this command over here it will help us in logging in the user with for this database this username and this password and if the provided credentials are correct then it will return the user id so let's go on and run this script and let's see and i'm gonna print the uid here so as you can see it has returned the user id which means that it has correctly logged in uh, log me in to this specific Udo instance with this database this username and this password so next what we are going to do is we are going to simply create a partner then we are going to read it then we are going to update search and finally we are going to delete it so we are going to see different methods available in this specific xml rpc so let's go on and first try to create a partner so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get the models from our xml rpc dot client dot server proxy now this time the endpoint we are going to use is object so we need these specific models through which we can perform different orm operations for that we need this endpoint so this endpoint here is to authenticate and this one to get the models through which we are going to execute different orm operations so first i'm going to create a partner so let's try to create a customer let's try to create a partner inside the res.partner model of Udo using xml rpc so what i'm going to do is i am just going to use a method called execute kw now this method is something that we will use to invoke all of the ORM operations, ORM methods inside the Udo. So I have already prepared one for the creation. So what it is doing here is it is going to 
connect to this database using this user ID and his pa password and this is the model and this is the method that we are going to use. Now here we can use all of the ORM methods available uh, which are made available by Odoo which includes create, read, write, search, search read, name search, fields get etc. So for now we are going to create it and uh, let's call it test API customer and so what basically we are doing here is we are calling the create method or a method and these are the arguments that create method takes uh, which are the values the dictionary of all the fields and its values uh, whatever we want to create so once we run this scrape it should create it and if it is successful then it should return the partner id it should print it here so let's run the script and see so it has created a customer with the name test api customer and the id is 48 so let's go on and see so as you can see it has the email it has the name and it is a company and we have the id 48 so it has successfully created a customer now let's go on and try to read the same fields uh, let's say we want to read the name email and his company fields whatever the data is stored inside the name and the email and whether this company is true or false for this specific customer this time we are going to use the method read now since we have already created i'm just going to save the partner id inside this so we can just safely comment this this would be our create now we are going to so same thing that we have done before we are going to use this and now instead of create i have written read here so basically we are going to just replace the orm method here and next we are just going to give the arguments here now for the read we have an additional argument which is the fields we have to tell which fields are empty for all of the fields now this is the partner id i've already passed already passed the database user id password this is the orm method and i want to read these specific fields which should return this name this email and this boolean for his company so let's go on and try to run this so as you can see we will get the id if we run read command for all of the records automatically and then we have the name email and his company as true now the next function that we are going to use is write method so what basically we want to do here is we want to let's say update the name of the customer that we just created so the customer we created with this name and now i'm going to just rename it to something else i'm just gonna write it here now again instead of read we are going to use write then we have to pass the partner id and finally we are going to update the name to this one so once we run this script and everything is okay it should print update it otherwise it will return an error so let's try to run the script so as you can see it has returned updated we are just gonna go to this database and just gonna refresh and as you can see that it has updated the name successfully so this is how we can use the write command the write orm next we can go on and try to get the search method so again i'm just gonna copy because we have already updated so instead of write now we are using search now in this case we have to pass the domain otherwise we can just pass empty if we don't want any filter for this specific search i want to filter the partners all the res partner records which have this specific name that we have just updated so since we have only one in our database this database it should return only one id so we are going to run this script and let's see so as you can see it has returned the id 48 which is this id so we have got the customer that we the id of the customer that we have tried to find using this specific search domain 
the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to use the name search method which we know that is also one of the Odoo RMs so let's command it out and let's try to search now in here we are going to search is using the name so again we are using this this is the RM method now for the name search we just simply have to pass the name of the record that we want to search for and it should return all the matches for this specific name using the name search so let's run the script so as you can see that it has returned the id and the name of the customer so this is what we passed and we got the id that matches this specific name next we are going to get the fields metadata so it is possible that we want the details of the fields so we are going to use fields get method which is also one of orm methods from Odoo. and what we want we want the string attribute of the fields help and the type so it is going to go in this specific model it is going to use this specific orm we can pass this record id again and then we are going to run it for email so let's see that what we get in the result so as you can see that for this specific fields get so again we are using execute kw and then we are passing the orm and then we have attributes so i want to get the field information for all of the fields and I want to get the string attribute that what we are naming that specific field if there is any help attribute and what is the type of the field. So let's just print field info first and run the script. So as you can see that we have got all of the fields in this specific model and we have got the string. Let's say for the message is follower, the string is is follower. The type of the field is boolean. And if this specific attribute exists, only then we'll get the data for that, that one also. So let's see for this one, we have the help attribute available. Now, if you want to get the field information for a specific, a specific one, we can just use the specific dictionary and get, let's say for field email, I want to get the information for the specific field email. It will just print that one. We can also see in the similar way, we can use the default get and rest of the things also but the last thing that i want to show here is the delete feature it will delete the customer or whatever the model we are working with so what we have to do is we have to invoke the unlink method of voodoo we have to pass the partner id which we are already passing 48 and if everything is successful it should print delete it which means that there should be no error and it should go to the next line and print delete it so i'm just gonna run the script again so it is saying it is deleted now let's go on to the front end and try to refresh so we didn't get the id it is saying that the record with id 48 cannot be found might have been deleted so this is how you can use different ORMs you can first of all connect to your Udo database you can get the models and then through models you can get this specific method that lets you perform different features through ORMs in the upcoming videos we'll see what else we can do through models or XML RPC for now we have seen how we can use create read write search name search how we can get the field metadata and how we can delete a record from the database using XML RPC. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.